Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and when it comes to PC gaming, clearly Steam is the place to start. I think everybody knows that by now. That's where you can get almost every PC game that you can get digitally out there because it is the largest marketplace of games. It has the biggest user base, the biggest selection of games, and so on. So obviously Steam is a great place to start. I have a large Steam library that I can probably scroll on and on and I really need to organize my games better but Steam isn't the end-all be-all of PC gaming because there are a lot of other services out there of course that you may be familiar with like Origin, Uplay, Epic Games uh, of course you got the Xbox uh, service that you can play like the Game Pass titles and whatever and so on of course you got Battle.net, um, Green Man Gaming there's all kinds of different places that you can play PC games and, and it gets really confusing trying to organize all of that and of course if you stick solely to Steam you're excluding yourself from possible games. It'd almost be like buying a console and then electing not to have certain games come up on the marketplace for whatever reason. That's pretty much what it's like if you limit yourself to Steam. But obviously it gets a hassle trying to micromanage all the different services and figure out where your games are and which service. And yeah, you can use Steam, of course, to add games to your library, non-Steam games. Like you go up here and you can add non-Steam games so that they'll show up in Steam. But you have to do all that stuff manually. It gets a pain and it gets to be a pain in the butt, right? So there's a cool little client I want to show here. It's called GOG Galaxy. And this is a really sweet service that allows you to integrate all these services and it even allows you to integrate your Xbox Live and PlayStation stuff too so you can still see your friends list like you can see I put my friends list that I've blurred uh, right over here I can see what they're playing see if they're online and so on so if I'm wanting to maybe play a game with them on the PS4 I can just hop right in and I have to worry about it right but um, that being said you know, GOG lets you integrate all this stuff so that you can keep it in one place. It makes it very easy to keep track of everything here. So it's going to show everything, including the PlayStation stuff. You know, it's going to show everything. And I've got a ton of games that it's going to show up on here on all these different services. Digital games that I've collected through the years or have on subscription services. And, you know, so it's it's really ridiculous but it gives you one central location to find everything which is what's really nice about this GOG Galaxy plus the client is really fast uh, it works very smoothly you know I really like the layout of it and it's very well organized and whenever you integrate these services it handles all the game exporting for you you don't have to manually add them like you do on Steam for example now of course you're probably seeing some games that I don't have on PC that they're console games and so you can sort those out because obviously you don't want to necessarily look at games that you can't play on PC so you can sort those out and look at just the PC games and uh, yeah it's it's way too much like a lot of years of humble bundles and you know getting free games here and there and obviously buying a good share of games on Steam sales and so on so it gets to be a lot you know I've collect a lot of PC games throughout the years and you can also sort them out based on the individual services like my GOG games for example I mainly get the classic games on here that's what I like GOG for because it, they do really good with those types of games of course the Xbox you can I can play all the Xbox Game Pass titles or Xbox games I download for PC right here it's all very easy to do very simplified uh, no problems whatsoever. I don't know why Diablo was coming up there. Uh, I guess maybe it's because that was the Xbox One version that is coming up on there. But, you know, I can check all these out. Uh, here's my Epic Game Store stuff, of course, including the recently hyped Grand Theft Auto V that's available on there now. So it's all here, guys. And of course, Origin. You know, got my EA games right there. Battle.net. I want to do some Blizzard action. It's all here. Uh, so it's a really neat service, and this friends right here is just for the GOG stuff. Uh, but um, 
you know, obviously you can add your GOG friends list as well on here. This is for all the other services. And then, of course, you can access the GOG store right here. You know, check out what they have on GOG. GOG is a really good place to get games because it's all DRM free. You know, you don't have to worry about DRM with these GOG games. Uh, I think there may be some limited exceptions where they may have some kind of multiplayer DRM, but like the actual single player isn't DRM. So, um, and then of course, you know, GOG does offer other things like it does have the ability to do achievements and things like that as well for various games. So yeah, it's just a really cool service. Obviously, you know, it lets you really simplify your PC collection in the best way possible but without intentionally crippling yourself to staying on like one or two services and then not being able to experience what other services have to offer exclusive titles that you can't get elsewhere um, so it's something I highly recommend that you guys check out because it's just a great service you know it really is and the clients great guys I mean it's <laughs> you know, it's it's very well designed. I really like the layout of this. You know, it looks very nice and it's very fast and functional. So um, that's all I've got time for, guys. Uh, highly recommend GOG Galaxy. I have nothing bad to say about it. It's only good. It's all good. If you want to do some PC gaming, um, whether you're just casually playing PC games or you're, you know, significantly in the PC gaming, it's highly recommended either way. Um, let me know what you guys think if you've tried this service out um, and if you haven't I definitely recommend it uh, but till then Dow Phoenix out